multiplication property of inequality case 2. Okay, in this case we're still starting off with some inequality, so a less than b or a greater than b, some inequality given to us, except in this case we're starting off with c being less than 0. So now we've got the negative case. c is going to be something that's a negative number. So how does that change this? Well this says if that's the case then a times c will now be greater than b times c. So this becomes really important because this inequality sign now changes directions from its original sign here. So notice the change in direction. This was less than, this one is now greater than. So we're going to see how that affects our problems when we go to solve this. So let's look at a numeric example. So let's say we start off with a problem that says solve. That's what most of our problems are going to ask us to do. And now I have negative one half x is less than six. So again, I've got to figure out what do I need to multiply by. It's always my key is how to get that x by itself. So I now need to multiply by not just the two, because the two will reduce out that, but now I need a negative because that's going to reduce out the negative value. So I'm going to multiply both sides by a negative two. So what does that do to our next part here? Well, if you look, the two is going to reduce out, and this minus and the minus are the two negative values. The opposite of the negative is going to turn into a positive. So that reduces out, which is good because that leaves us just the x. Now what does that do over here? Well, because we changed the sign, and we're going to change the sign from a positive 6 to a negative 12, that also changes this sign. And so this now goes into a greater than. And so there's our final solution to this problem. x must be greater than negative 12. So remember, this is how I kind of remember it for myself is, this was a negative, now it's a positive. This was a positive, now it's a negative. This was a less than, now it's a greater than. So every sign in the entire problem changed to a different sign. Okay, let's try one more so you can see how this kind of works. So let's do another solve. And let's do negative 2x greater than or equal to, let's do something like 10. All right, so we're starting off with a negative value over here. And our goal again is to get that to a x, an x all by itself, which means positive. So we're going to have to change all these signs. So remember, our c is actually a smaller number that's going to get rid of this. So how do I get rid of the 2? Well, I need to divide by 2, which means I'm going to multiply by 1 half. I'm taking half of that number. Now, how do I get rid of that negative? Well, we're going to take the opposite again. So same thing on this side to balance it out. So our c is negative 1 half, which means it's less than 0. So this new property, case 2, applies and says these two will reduce, these two will change, and it will leave us just with the x value. But because we multiplied by that number that's less than zero, or that negative, the inequality changes as well. And then what does it do on the other side? Well, 10 divided by two, or half of 10, would be five and the negative sign would drop down or would come around with the final answer and so there's our solution. X is less than or equal to negative 5. So notice, every sign in the problem changed value. 